get this one started I wanted to tell you guys about my shirt here um, you guys can get shirts and hats and sweatshirts and all that stuff from um, this clothing line yes rocking it um, it is called Tokyo Dubai I will try to leave the link to the website in the description box um, yeah, and if I can't, then I'll just like type it out and you guys can just search it yourselves. But it is TokyoDubaiClothing.com and they have a lot of good, uh, cute and affordable stuff there. It's like all like custom made type thing. But yeah, um, anyway, moving on with the video, I just wanted to give you guys like a review on like the um, theme parks for Universal, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay because I know there's some people that haven't went or you know they want to go but it's a lot of money so they don't want to go if it's like boring or whatever whatever so uh yeah let's let's get into it but uh basically first of all I hope this background isn't like boring kind of wanted to switch it up for you guys but yeah, like I said, I hope it's not boring, but you can let me know. Um, first, I'm going to start with Universal Studios. And I'm basically in this, I'm going to tell you like rides I like, rides I don't like, rides that are, if you, first of all, if you guys have seen like my fashion overhauls, like my plus size fashion overhauls, like you guys know, we are plus size friendly over here. So I'm basically going to let you guys know like which rides there are plus size friendly and you know the ones you should probably stay away from and the food and you know all that good stuff so let's get into it first I'm like I said I'm gonna start with Universal Studios wait no hmm. I'm gonna start with Islands of Adventure because those rides are popping in my head first so I'm gonna start with Islands of Adventure first we're gonna start with the Hulk they recently renovated it and I actually do like it it is sim it's semi uh plus size friendly. It's not bad, but it is a fun ride. I do recommend that one. Next is um what's that ride? Spider-Man. I love that ride. It's not like a roller coaster, but it's like it gives you like your action and you know adventure thrill and all that good stuff. It is plus size friendly. I love that. Um, and it's very comfortable. You don't have to put you like your belongings in a locker and all that stuff. So that one is a fun one. Kid friendly also. All that stuff. Um, Doctor Doom. That's what like right before you get to Spider Man. I don't really like that ride. It's kind of boring. It's like those rides that go all the way up and then they drop you down. It's one of those rides. I don't like those type rides. I've been on it once. Actually, like this past time I went to Universal. If you haven't seen my vlog, go watch it. It'll be up there for you guys. But yeah, I just went on it that time. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't all that, honestly. Like, I wouldn't waste my time going on it. It's not that fun. Um, what next? I can't even think. There is, I don't even know if it's open anymore or right now, but like the Popeye ride. That one is pretty fun. I actually really like that ride. It's a water ride. So if you don't want to get wet, don't go on it. Plus size friendly. Oh yeah, the Dr. Doom one is plus size friendly. I think. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Um, it's alright. Yeah. But, um, oh, by the way, when I'm saying plus size friendly, also I'm talking about for myself. So, I am like in pants like a 1X, 2X. So I'm going to say like a 2X, but yeah. So, obviously, if you're not a 2X and you're, like, a 3X, you might have to be kind of weary, you know? But if you're, like, 
a 1X or an XL, and you're like, you know, then you should be fine. Throwing that out there. Disclaimer. Like, don't go there and be like, oh, you said outfit. Like, no, but I'm going off for my, I'm like, myself, you know. I'm getting tongue-tied. But anyways. Um, and then after that, it is Ripsol something or another. That's another water ride. I had never been on that, so I can't tell you guys about that one. But it looks decent. I just know the wait times are always long, so, ugh. Then after that is a new one, like, oh, a newer one. It is King Kong. That one is boring. Do not get on it. Plus size friendly, kid friendly, but boring. Don't get on it. Don't waste your time. The lines are always long on that, too. I wouldn't waste my time. Um, Jurassic Park, isn't it? Ooh, is this the same park? Yeah, this is the same park. Yeah, Jurassic Park is next. Um, I It's a regular ride, but it does at the end have like a water drop. You don't really get too wet. So I don't really classify it as a water ride, but it, it is, I guess, kind of a water ride because you do get a little bit wet. But that one is pretty fun. It's not like... A roller coaster it's not like I'm not explain it it's fun but like oh my god like uh <laughs> like I like the like scenery because you have like dinosaurs and all that Ooh, excuse me but yeah so it looks really cool but it's not like amazing like you're trying to get on like a fun fast type roller coaster but I do like it um uh what else is there and guys, I'm going off the rides I can't remember. I'm sorry if I obviously forgot some, but um, then there is Harry Potter. There is the I forgot what it's called. The Forbidden Journey is what it's called. That is a really fun ride, but I am terrified of spiders, and there's giant spiders hanging in front of your face. So no. <laughs> I don't like it just for that reason, but I have gotten on it like two times before. So it is fun, but I just don't like the spiders thing, so it kind of freaks me out. So I don't get on it. When I did get on it, I was like closing my eyes, but anyway. So if you're fine with spiders, ghosts, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a fun ride. Um, it is, it's pretty um, plus size friendly for that one too. Um, let me think. Then there is... Oh, I think they got rid of it. But I'm going to say it anyway because it just came in my head. It's like the Dueling Dragons. It's like the reddish, orangish roller coaster with the blue one and they like race and stuff. Those are really fun. I usually get on the red one more, but they're both really good. <gasps> Sorry. They're both really good. And, um, what was I about to say? They're not bad for plus size friendly either. And... That is all I could think of. Uh, yeah, that's like all I could think of in this park. It probably is it. But yeah, now we're going to go to the Hogwarts, Ex Hogwarts Express. It is the train that takes you over to the other park when you have like, you know, both park passes. So we're going to talk about that. It is so amazing, guys. Like if you are like Harry Potter obsessed like I am, you will freaking love it. It is like freaking amazing like you're literally in the train that they're riding and it's like so freaking cool i highly recommend it the wait times are always really long i'm gonna tell you now but if you haven't done it before i feel like it is really worth the experience because it is so cool yeah and this is a train ride so yeah you know you'll fit it's like rooms you know um now we're at universal we're gonna talk about what's, what can i take out first Okay, I'm gonna try to go to the front of the park. So it'll be Rip Ride Rocket. That one is so fun. It's like a real thrill roller coaster. You go all the way, you go like straight up when you start, you're like chicka, 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 chicka. Like that is like crazy. But that ride is really fun. I do recommend it. It is not very plus size friendly. Like it's, I'd be kind of squished and I could barely get the thing around me, but I'd be in there, but it's not very plus size friendly. Um,. So you know about that. But it is really fun if you want to give it a try. Um, and then there is a new one. It is the Jimmy Fallon Later Ride. It's pretty fun. It's just like Minions. Minions and Jimmy Fallon, they're basically like the same thing. Like you sit in like a theater and there's like chairs and like you ride like, like a simulation thing basically. 
they're both pretty cool. They're, uh, what is it? They're, they're kid and plus size friendly. Uh, I like the Minion one more. Only because I really like the Minions, but yeah. Then there is the Mummy. The Mummy is really fun. It's pretty plus size friendly. It is really fun. Um, I don't, I was going to say it's kid. I, it's kid friendly, but I feel like kids might be scared because there's like mummies and real fire and darkness, like pitch black and all that stuff. So I don't know if they would want to get on that, but it's fun other than that though. Um, I do recommend that one. There is Transformers. Yeah, Transformers. That one is pretty fun. It's basically just like Spider-Man and Adventure Island, or Islands of Adventure. Um, yeah, it's it's plus size friendly too and kid friendly then there is uh the harry potter area and um the harry potter area i like this one better this one is like freaking amazing over in universal there it's just like you're really in the freaking movie like it's amazing um the ride there i forgot what it's called the Escape from Green Gods, that's what it's called. That one is my ride. That one I love. That one is so fun. Highly recommend that one. It is plus size friendly, kid friendly. I feel like they will like that one too. It's like, they will like that one too. I love that ride. Um, what else? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. The Simpsons, but I think they closed that down. But The Simpsons is plus size friendly, kid friendly. Um... Men in Black is definitely kid friendly. They would freaking love that because you like shoot aliens and pew pew, you know, stuff like that. That one's cute. Um, plus that's friendly. I don't really get on it much. I only got on it a couple times, but it's pretty good. Um, I cannot think of anything else. Well, there's a couple more rides, but I have not gotten on them before. So I don't want to give you my opinion on them because I don't know them. Um... I believe that is all that I can think of. Yeah, that's about all I can think of. And then, last but not least, we're going to talk about Volcano Bay real quick. I know this video might be kind of long, but we're going to talk about Volcano Bay. Um, I've only been there three times. Two, two or three times. And um, it's pretty fun. It is very packed. Well, it was very packed the times that I went. The last time I went, it actually wasn't too bad, but it was only not that bad because it was slightly chilly outside. It was like foggy, rainy. We wanted to go. We already planned on going, and we were going. When we were on our way, it was kind of like that, and we we're like, "Oh my god, like what the heck?" By the way, if you've seen that vlog, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'll throw that up in there too, so you guys can watch that video after this one too. But yeah, um. But yeah, it's really fun. They have a lot of rides. Everything is pretty plus size friendly that I can remember that I got on. I didn't get on everything, but everything is pretty good. Like most of the time it's like slides and you know little tubes and anyway. So everything in that park is pretty good. I love the lazy they have two lazy rivers, like a slower one and a faster one. I like them both. Me and Bay kind of, well, Bay mostly said that he likes the fast one more because it has like more waves and stuff. I like that one also. The only thing I like about that one is because it is so fast, like me and him kept getting separated. So I like, we couldn't find each other for like the long, like we literally ran, like went around the thing a whole bunch of times by ourselves because we couldn't find each other or catch up. And then when you're trying to get out, it's like the hardest thing to get out because the current is like so fast. So that's the only thing I didn't like. Um, like about it and you cannot get out of your tube you have to stay in your tube the whole time so if you're like one of those people that like to swim or walk in it or you cannot do that the like guard will be like nope get in your tube you can't do it or get out so yeah i didn't like that about it so i would say the obviously the server one is more kid friendly um and it's more relaxing like a lazy river if you're going for that type of vibe um but yeah um i can't think of anything else for say for that part the food there at, I forgot what it's called. It started with a K though. K Kiwana? Maybe it's Kiwana. I don't know. Something like that. But the food there is really good. That's the only place I've been in that part. But the food there is really good. Oh, let me tell you about the other parts real quick. Mom, that's my favorite place in Volcano Bay. My favorite place in Islands of Adventure is Thunder Falls. It is right by Jurassic Park and King Kong 
after King Kong, before Jurassic Park, like right in the middle. That's my favorite place there. And then in I er, in Universal, my favorite place is um dang, I should really have a favorite place in Universal. I don't really have a favorite place in Universal actually. So I guess I can't really say that one. But yeah, I like Ben and Jerry's there. Ice cream, you know, on deck. That was good. But um oh and the last thing for Volcano Bay, I do have this thing to show you guys. It is um basically like when you're, you know, riding rides at a water park, you put your phone in the locker so it's not wet, you know, gets damaged. Um, they, I have these things right here. Basically, it is like a case for your phone. It obviously can fit smartphones and whatnot. Oh gosh. And it like opens like this. Can you guys see? It opens like this. And then you put your phone in there. And then it has like little clips so you can lock it. And then it has a string to go around your neck. So basically you have your phone with you, take pictures and all that stuff and your phone is protected. It is definitely very waterproof. I was so scared at first to try it out because I was like, it says it's waterproof, but I don't know. I don't want to mess up my phone, but it actually is really waterproof. Like I sink my phone into the water and it is fine. You can still use it like this. You can still touch your phone. Like I love it. Um... If you have a case on it on your phone, I would recommend taking it off though because it gets kind of hard to put in like in the package, whatever you want to call it, when there's a case on it. So I usually have to take my case off because I have like the Otter Box, Otter Box, so it's like pretty big, so it doesn't really fit in here like that. But yeah, that's, other than that, like I highly recommend this. This is like amazing. Take this every time I go, every water park, whatever. It is called. C Wag. It is S E A W A G. So I'm sure if you like search it, you can find it and buy one if you're interested. But I highly recommend this. It was wasn't that much. I think it was like twenty dollars, twenty five dollars, something like that. But I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, guys, that's about it. I want to give you like a review experience and all that because I know people spend a lot of money on tickets to go to these parks and. They want to know what they're getting before they go there. So, this was just like a little review, helpful tips or whatever. Or even if you've been before, but you want to go again because you haven't rolled, ridden, whatever the correct term is, some of the rides and you want to give it a go, you know? So, yeah, that is about it, guys. I can't think of anything else to say. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Give me a thumbs up. Like this video. Comment. Subscribe. All that stuff. The subscribe button is over here. If you have not subscribed to me, please subscribe. Like, I know you guys love me. And I love you guys. So, please subscribe. And all my subscribers now, I love you guys. Can you see my heart? There we go. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Um, and yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Love you guys.